Item number SCP-808 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-808 is currently unable to be moved from its original location. As such, Armed Containment Site-27 has been built around the area in which it was found. SCP-808 is contained within a 6m by 7m by 17m containment tank. Unit is constructed from 10cm thick walls of polyvinyl chloride PVC, covered by 25cm thick acoustic foam. Furthermore, wood and sound dampeners are constructed 3 meters from the container to further insulate the object. These dampeners are susceptible to regular degradation, and as such are to be replaced by Class D personnel. SCP-808's housing, Area 808-A, is currently set with explosive charges. The public cover story is that the property has been purchased by the military of the training area, allowing for complete destruction of the object if required. Barring maintenance, a 30-meter buffer zone is to be maintained around the object at all times. Once monthly, SCP-808's tank is to be opened and the main body is to be inspected for degradation. If sufficiently degraded, a diluted phosphoric acid spray is to be applied. Then the object is to be power washed and coated with further rust-proofing agents. Machinery originally found within the structure had been removed to a storage area 250 meters to the southwest. In the event that any unconnected machinery in the vicinity of SCP-808 begins to operate, all personnel are to evacuate to evac point Beta. As a precaution to repel invaders, automated motion-sensitive flame-based defensive installations around the object will activate in the event of a site lockdown. SCP-808 is a mechanical construct standing approximately 16 meters tall, with a base approximately 5 by 6 meters 30 meters squared in area. The object is roughly cylindrical in shape. The upper 3 meters taper into a point. SCP-808 seems to be built primarily of steel and iron, with several smaller brass fittings. Randomly placed lengths of cable and chain are attached haphazardly to the lower areas, with the majority of the machine constructed of steel beams and gears in simple clockwork patterns. Components seem to have been taken from various industrial machinery with no single source. The machinery forming SCP-808 runs constantly with a low grind, despite no apparent power source. The uppermost portion of SCP-808 is constructed in a somewhat humanoid form. This portion is covered in gray carpeting and a white wedding dress, giving it a soft, somewhat feminine appearance. The effigy possesses four limbs, the upper limbs appearing somewhat vestigial and the lower limbs apparently taken from a mannequin. The face seems to be a speaker system, possibly constructed of copper. While SCP-808 runs, a high-pitched whine is emitted from the humanoid construct. As SCP-808 structure degrades through rusting or is tampered with, such as attempts to disassemble the object or through application of force, this noise's volume will increase dramatically. This noise will automatically tune to frequencies capable of causing local metals to resonate. After growing loud enough, approximately 70 decibels, non-electronic components of machinery affected by this resonance will spontaneously activate. This anomalous activity will cease once rust has been removed from SCP-808. No psychological effects have appeared in those exposed to the sound. Direct damage to the humanoid construct has caused it to emit approximately one decibel scream, killing two and deafening personnel on site, as well as causing extensive property damage. No further attempts to deconstruct or destroy SCP-808 are to be taken except in extreme emergencies. Recovery Log SCP-808 is located within an abandoned factory in France. An agent embedded as a local city worker heard rumors of a constant screech in the local countryside and called in a small investigation. Upon discovery of SCP-808 within its structure, the four present agents were assaulted by a group of civilians, killed by agents in self-defense. Investigation of the structure revealed a sect dedicated to the Church of the Broken God. Associated members of the sect were captured and taken into Foundation custody. Documents and paraphernalia retrieved from civilian residences revealed that SCP-808 had been under construction for approximately seven months and remains unfinished after being acquired by the Foundation.
Documentation reveals that SCP-808 was intended to be a musician of sorts, in preparation for the eventual return of the Broken God. Associated civilians have since been terminated under the guise of an attack by a mundane terrorist cell. Security for a location redacted has since been increased. Addendum. Note from Dr. Bridge. Judging by the main structure, I'd say that it was intended to be mobile. It has bits that look like the beginnings of legs, wheels as well. It's quite concerning that something the size of SCP-808 has been built outside our knowledge. However, I find it even more disturbing that a cult of the Broken God grew this large without alerting the Foundation. In light of this recent growth, I recommend increasing surveillance on known church activities.